I'm Jana, an athlete and a farmer, and I'm here to take you on a grassroots exploration of the places and people thriving at the crossroads of food and adventure. So let's get a little wild, keep being curious, and stay hungry for the stories behind every journey. to Hawaii's Big Island to spend five days with Kaili Umeda, a true water woman, world-class spear fisher, and spear gun maker. Kaili's passion for diving and fishing is shaped by her love of the ocean, its health, and sustaining its delicate ecosystem. She's gonna take us down into her world for two days of spear fishing to show us what can be accomplished in a single breath. The cool thing about being the only woman making spear guns is I feel like I've done everything that I had to do competitively where I've been respected in the industry. And I think I've been a decent role model. So my dad introduced me into spear fishing just by me watching him. Him and his friends would go out and I would want to do it, but my mom wouldn't let me. So eventually, I finally got a three prong and it was game over. My love for the ocean has been passed down from generations and generations. And that type of respect and that responsibility, you have to pass it down to the, your next generation, to the next, and to the next, because it is a resource. It's a natural resource, and we always have to take care of it. For me, I only take what I need and maybe taking that medium-sized one is more than enough for the family. Everything has to be in a balance. And once that balance gets thrown off, you know, everything has a hard time to come back. Kylie brought us to the Pololu Valley to give us a sense of Hawaii's rugged terrain and see the vastness and power of the ocean we'll be diving in tomorrow. So I know that you have the opportunity to travel like all over the world and you've been to some really cool places, but like what makes you really just want to stay here on this island? It's just so diverse. So if I want to go hunting, I can just run it up to the mountain or go to the ocean in one day. It's just the best place on earth. This current right here is really strong. It rips. Yeah, the ocean doesn't really care about you, so. No, so you have to be respectful about the ocean. We started training for this free diving like back in August and it all just seemed like an idea and now sitting, I mean sitting here by the ocean, it seems like the ocean just kind of does whatever she wants to you. So I'm a little freaked out but I don't know, should I be? You don't have to be. I mean it is unpredictable sometimes but you just have to know your limits and then you know you just can't go past that. An alpaca, and then this is what we used to use back in the day to defog our masks. After months of preparing for this adventure, it was finally time to grab our spear guns, follow Kylie's lead, and descend. Fishing for us, especially my my dad, my uncles, they all kind of taught us, you know about the importance of the resource and how to take care of it. You get to experience it firsthand, not just you know from a book. For me, harvesting my own food and going through those motions makes it the experience a lot better. You know, knowing where it came from, knowing which one you selected and for those reasons. And a lot of times I will select something not because it's the biggest, but because that's the one that will fit inside the steamer and also knowing that, you know, this is enough to feed the family. Okay, so this is opihi. Opihi, okay. Yeah, so it's a limpet that lives on the rocks. And do you always eat them raw? Yeah, or we can throw them on the grill with chili pepper and then show you. And that's pretty awesome too. Okay. It tastes so good raw. Yes. 
Diving along the coast was such an exhilarating experience. So much food to be sourced right there if you have the skill and patience to harvest it. Kylie made it all look so easy, but she reassured us that she'd been honing her underwater life for over a decade. The confidence we gained during our reef dive was the perfect way to prepare us for diving farther from shore, blue water diving, where we could encounter bigger fish and experience the expanse of having the ocean floor over a mile beneath us. I've been thinking about this day for months and the, I mean, the training that I did in breath holding was really important, but there's no, I don't think there's anything that could like really prepare me for like what we're doing right here with you. And I just feel so grateful that like we're learning this from you and you're one of the best. down there it's like every color blue you can imagine but then like out of the void came like a really big shark Kylie said it's an oceanic oh yeah oceanic white tip white tip yeah so I don't know like I was cool with it but then uh, you know we were, he was just kind of like swimming around us and then he was like snatching up fish and like like really grabbing them and I started like my heart kind of started like sputtering and I was like I just have to take a little break While I was chilling in the boat, Jesse and Kylie wanted to take one more shot at bringing in a fish. You got one? Got one. Well, I love the blue water diving so much. Like I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna make me really dizzy or like feel like uneasy, but it was so soothing. Like I just love looking down into the sunbeams and it's kind of like put me into this trance or like this hypnosis. And then when there were fish, they would just kind of like swim, come swim around us. And I just, I really felt like I was, like I belonged in the water. Ocean for me is very spiritual in a sense because that's where I'm the most at peace. I like to feel the currents and Having that sense of it pushing me, the ocean, the waves, the wind, I can hear all of these things, and there is no greater peace or quiet. On our final day in Hawaii, we gathered at Kylie's friend Justin's ranch. Kids playing, and everywhere you looked, a deep respect for the people gathered and the fresh food being prepared. I was so honored to share in the bounty of the ocean with Kylie's ohana her extended family of friends and neighbors, and that my family was able to be part of this meal as well. So first of all, I want to thank Kylie. Um, you know, she's, she's the heartbeat of this, of this group, um, you know, of this ohana that came up, and uh, it's all of the hands that put, to, put this meal put together. Um, you know, right here is a very special place. It's a family property up here that we're trying to bring back a forest. And uh, the way that we do it is uh, um, sustainably by treating the land like a brother, like a family member. And, uh, and that goes full circle to the ocean, um, to the, the meat that we're about to consume, the fish, uh, the octopus, everything done is sustainable um, to sustain not just us, but uh, the resource that is uh, of Hawaii. With that being said, thanks everybody for being here. Um, respect the food, respect everybody that uh, put their hands into it and enjoy it at the end of the day. Thank you. Hawaii, where the land is still expanding outward into the ocean, I found that my curiosity is always expanding into new challenges. This untamed ecosystem where land meets ocean is a wild tangle of endless adventure, culture, and food. Hawaii made me feel at once small and vulnerable in an expansive wilderness, yet so held by the friendship of its people.